A while back, I made a video where I named my least favorite film cliches. The ones that tend to be overused and become tired due to their frequent usage. For me, the misunderstanding is the most contrived of all setups. The one you see coming a mile away and puts a stop to everything. It's one where characters don't do the logical thing any normal person would. Allow me to expand on this. The genre that frequently uses this is the romantic comedy, usually for in the inevitable scene, where the lead couple has to break up to create some conflict in the plot. There are other genuine and real issues filmmakers could use, but most of them seem content to use similar scenarios for each one, and it never feels real. The most often used type of misunderstanding is the it's not what it looks like situation. This is the scene where a completely innocent protagonist ends up in the middle of an embarrassing predicament, mostly the jealous ex or another woman trying to seduce him. At that exact moment, his current lover walks in. The dialogue exchange is usually some variation of this. It's not what it looks like. Oh really? Because to me, it looks like you're getting pretty cozy with what's-her-face. No, you don't understand. I was... Save it. I know exactly what you're going to say. I'm out of here. Q angrily grabbing a coat or purse, walking out of the apartment as the main character chases after her and then gets the car door slammed in his face as she drives off. Tell me, how many times have you seen that in a movie? We also have the time when the character doesn't even see anything and leaps to a wild assumption. This annoying scenario is even built up to in the film Rock of Ages. Why does the main romantic couple break up? Because he assumes she slept with Tom Cruise. How did he come to this conclusion? Because she left his dressing room, even though she's a waitress, working there, and was clearly bringing him his order. That's an example of the kind of asinine contrivances films have to bring forth to cause a breakup. We also have the eavesdropper cliché, where a character sees or hears only part of a conversation and makes an immediate impression without actually asking said person what that was about to clear it up. In the classic Bing Crosby vehicle, White Christmas, the hotel's nosy housekeeper listens in on only part of a telephone call between Crosby and a producer, and informs Rosemary Clooney of it. At no point does she confront him about it to get the full story, she just leaves in a huff. It's a conflict that could have been solved if she acted like a human being and asked him what that telephone conversation was about. It's a disappointing sour spot in an otherwise great little holiday charmer. The recent Melissa McCarthy comedy The Boss also pulled this stunt by having her see Kristen Bell with her rival and immediately assuming they're going to work together. Or you could have asked why they were talking and we could have been saved the 10 minutes and ridiculous setup for the climax. Now, is there an exception to the rule? Of course. Whenever I think of a way the misunderstanding cliché can be handled in a manner that isn't annoying, I remember Sleepless in Seattle. In the film, Meg Ryan's character slowly falls for Tom Hanks' character, as she follows him for a story. At one point, Ryan sees Hanks hug his sister, but she assumes the woman is his girlfriend and gets disappointed. You might be thinking, well, why is this an exception? Isn't it the same as the assumption cliché you mentioned earlier? Yes, in a way, but this is different in that the two characters only briefly meet and don't actually get to know each other until the final scene of the film. So we're thankfully spared the inevitable fight and breakup scene. Part of what makes Sleepless in Seattle work so well is that the relationships feel somewhat real, and Nora Ephron manages to twist the usual tropes of the romantic comedy to make something utterly charming. There's a reason I consider it one of the best examples of the genre. Other than Sleepless in Seattle, I cannot think of an example of a film that manages to use the misunderstanding cliché in a way that's not contrived and eye-rolling. It's easily my least favorite cliché. Let me know in the comments what film you think was harmed by this cliché, and even one where you think it worked. And I'll see you next time.